The Heroes of Normandy has a campaign mode, and I want to show you how to beat each mission, starting with mission number two, here today on Legendary Tactics. So I've been looking to get some more content uh, going for uh, Heroes of Normandy, and uh, so we're going to start with the U.S. Campaign Mission 2. It's a bit confusing because the first uh, campaign is actually the tutorial, so... Um, so that's why if you're wondering why I'm starting there, that's why. And we have a little bit of uh, back and forth here with uh, Oddball and uh, Don Donald Sutherland's Oddball and uh, Lee Marvin and uh, a little bit of chit chat. Yeah, it keeps it fun. It's uh, <clears throat> it's a game that keeps, you know, is a fairly serious war game in many ways, but it's uh, also tries to keep it light. Um, so the goal is to move uh, our tank to that target area. And I played this mission a few different times, a few different ways, and we're going to grab our cards here. And um, this, uh, I've played this mission a few times, and I, f I found it seems to be that the best thing is honestly just to charge forward and to uh, do everything you can to just clear the way and let the tank get to where it, it needs to get to and don't worry about uh, eliminating um, the enemy units all that much. Uh, a lot of units won't even get much of a chance to enter play, um, unfortunately. So um, you just have to keep the eye, keep the eye on the prize. That's the strategy here. So I'm going to make the <clears throat> the tank um, movement my first uh, priority uh, for that. Uh, and uh, with out of my three orders, I'm going to give um, some priority to the other vehicle. And I'm going to have to take out that infantry there on the left. Um, and uh, then I'm going to put my my third. It doesn't, yeah, it's funny because it doesn't really feel like it matters all that much for that supporting infantry in this particular scenario. Um, it's definitely not one where you are, um, you know, you're moving the, uh, the forces up uh, with any sort of, um, you know, strategic, long-term strategic goal in mind. It's very much a race to get to where you need to be. Now, the AI does some kind of puzzling moves in my experience. Um, in, they, in that they seem to chase after the infantry that don't matter um, and they just kind of you know end up off the the road uh, so we don't have to um, you know we don't have to worry about uh, them so much but um, but anyway we're uh, we're just looking at uh, um, the different uh, possibilities here as far as movement goes and uh, and firing um, as I said, my priority is not so much my infantry on the, the right. Those are just supporting cast. Maybe we can get some hits. Maybe we can take out some units. Uh, but there's nothing uh, more exciting than that in their, in their mission, uh, mission outline. Um, <clears throat> the game uh, interface, um, I find, is also taking a little bit of getting used to and, you know, just how to play the cards. It's, it's okay. It does, uh, once you figure it out, it's, it's actually very smooth. And I love the animations. Um, <clears throat> but uh, there are some sometimes some issues with getting cards to work and and so forth. And again, it's probably it's it's certainly my issue and not the uh, not the games. Um, but uh, uh, anyway, I I played a, a, you know this through a few times and uh, I still feel like I'm getting used to the interface. So don't don't feel bad if it's um, something you're still working through <laughs> as I am. Um, and uh, yeah, and it, and. I would also like to add that at this point, my my skill level is enough to to work through these missions, but I wouldn't necessarily take a lot of strategic uh, advice uh, from my play. Um, it's I'll let you know what I've figured out so far, but um, I'm not sure if I'm a an expert. So if you do see some misplays here and there, then uh, uh, please forgive me on that. Um, I am uh, still still uh, getting used to this game. It's uh, it is an interesting game in that it does come across as this cartoony kind of uh, thing, um, but there's a fair amount to it. It's it's not a um, in many ways it's it's uh, harkens back to the kind of the old um, hex encounter games and so forth. It's, the mechanics are fairly streamlined. I love how they how they do terrain and um, I love how they. Uh, how how a lot of this uh, stuff works. It's it's simplified, but it still feels like there's a lot going on. The rule book is not a short one, and uh, and it, each expansion as well, um, or certainly the the con expansion, 
you know, there was a fair amount to read through before getting started. It wasn't uh, wasn't just plug and play and, you know, just uh, set up, uh, you know, and play. Memoir 44, and I know this game is often compared to Memoir 44. Um, I find I found Memoir 44 to be easier to learn. Um, and as a result, it, it does feel a little bit more lightweight. Uh, you know, compared to to this one, this one feels like there's a lot more going on, and there's a lot more depth to it. Memoir Forty Four always felt to me to be, you know, it's a nice, fun game, but it's it's so it just feels very introductory. And if you have played games that are more advanced, uh, I yeah, I just I couldn't really get into it all that much. It's it's fine, but it's not something that uh, I, I was craving to play. Now I'm looking to move my tank. I have moved my tank uh, in a few different places before, but I was thinking about going onto the uh, onto the lawn there, uh, just south of the trees, but I'm just gonna run, run the gauntlet here. And uh, I used my advance uh, card as well to give me a bit of a boost. And so this is where cards can come into play. I'm only two hexes away from winning this game. So as I said, I think uh, in in many cases, I think it makes sense to just run the gauntlet and uh, and hope you hope you hold out. And, and in, in a lot of cases, uh, you do. The tanks are reasonably hardy. Um, however, um, I'm going to have to take a, a Panzer Shrek, um, unfortunately. And, uh, and again, fortunately, the AI seems to be timid, uh, shall we say. I don't see anything really... Uh, uh, amazing about uh, its gameplay here um, so um, I'm but I'm sure with their because they have the initiative this time uh, they're going to um, <laughs> they're gonna hit me with something uh, something pretty hard and again learning the cards as well um, I think there are some cards uh, that uh, will with more experience will jump out as being uh, necessary or certainly very useful I'm gonna try and get that tank moving if I can survive uh, my the whatever uh, punishment is coming my way then I'm gonna look to finish this one um, as soon as I as soon as I can so the, the my my target uh, unit tank gets first priority but we'll see what happens uh, Panzer Shrek uh, uh, rolls and gets a pretty decent roll and uh, so there's some uh, some damage sustained <laughs> And uh, as a result, I'm not able to to move uh, right away, so that uh, that wasn't good. So uh, one of the the interesting things about the cards as well is that they actually encourage you to use them up every turn. It's not something where you build up a hand and and necessarily you know you you you, you generally want to play most if not all of your uh, uh, turns. So um, you know so I'm going to bog down uh, my my opponent here. Um, because might as well and uh, yeah I, I didn't realize I wasn't going to be able to move so I may as well uh, you know I was just looking at that hit the dirt's an example of one of those cards that I'm really not sure if it's useful in this scenario but I thought well I got this unit out in the open so I'll 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 put it on uh, on all the, uh, the units there just to give them a bit of of protection um, and um, but other than that, I was a bit frustrated I wasn't able to move my tank to win the, win the mission right away. So I'm going to take it out on my uh, on the vehicle that's right next door and see how I do. Of course, I roll absolutely terribly. Um, now, I was suppressed as well, so that didn't help. But, uh, uh, but anyway, we're going to try a shot with the machine gunner as well. You never know. Um, you might as well give it a, give it a try. And uh, we'll we can't shoot at the uh, uh, the Panzer Shrek there, so because uh, the Panzer Shrek's uh, hidden, and uh, oh, if it wasn't for that uh, suppression, we would have uh, we would have done some damage, but we miss. Um, but it w it was worth a shot. We don't have to conserve ammo in this uh, in this game, so <laughs> I may as well take the shot and see what happens. Um, and next up, we are going to take another Panzer Shrek hit, which fortunately missed misses and I think um, probably that is uh, again it's probably the the reason why I can say you can run the gauntlet is that if they do miss from two hexes away <laughs> aiming at the rear of the tank 
um, then you you got a shot just to run the gauntlet. Now you can play more carefully and and uh, and try and eliminate some of the other units. You know, uh, kind of lock things down. Maybe even pull that target uh, unit back, which I've tried in the past. Just pull it back down the road and you know try and clear the way a little bit. But uh, but I found in the end you may as well just go for it, especially if you have that advance uh, card uh, in hand. Um, that is certainly enough to just give you that little extra boost. Um, now this one is not useful at all. I'm just going to spend it. It doesn't matter. There's no buildings to worry about uh, on this particular uh, uh, on this particular board, so we're fine. Um, I'm going to try some suppression uh, fire here just to see if I can um, do something of of use, and I managed to get some suppression, which is uh, which is good. And the, if you've read the rules, the game designers hint very strongly that suppression fire is actually key in this in this game, as it is in real uh, small level, uh, are, you know, squad to squad combat. Uh, suppression is is in many ways bigger and more use, bigger and better, more useful than it is for um, than trying to you know shoot to kill all the time. And so. Um, so anyway, but we bogged down that half track, and uh, so you know we just need to basically get the game along to the point where uh, we can uh, advance that uh, that uh, ta the tank to the target square. But we're gonna spend a bit of time here getting uh, vehicles lined up. I'm just gonna drive him up there just to kind of run interference. <clears throat> so that uh, the other vehicle might get distracted. I have no idea how the AI makes decisions quite quite yet. Um, so um, it's uh, it's something that uh, I have yet to uh, exactly figure out. So I'm gonna grab some ammo or supply box there. So got some ammo packs and uh, move that along. I always find it uh, in this game is kind of funny how they have ammo packs lying around, it, very much like a video game. But I can't imagine there's that many. Um, ammo packs lying around in in France in 1944 that happened to work for your particular weapon. Um, that'd be very very fortunate if that was the case. So um, anyway, we're going to give first priority to our uh, vehicle, second priority uh, to this uh, infantry. Again, running interference this uh, um, vehicle as well, <clears throat> looking to. Uh, to, uh, you know, as I said, run, run interference there, try and distract that vehicle. I don't know why the, uh, the game makes us place a bluff when we're playing the AI. I wonder if that factors into the AI's decision making at all. But uh, it doesn't matter as it turns out because uh, we're going to win the game here. But uh, anyway, that is how uh, I won <laughs> this uh, mission. And uh, I did it a, a couple times. And I basically just, as I said, plowed through just go uh, go for it um, and I'm sure there's a more as the scoreboard Brent comes up I'm sure that there's uh, other things you can do getting vehicle kills and, and infantry kills and that sort of thing but if you're just looking to progress through the mission then that is how I would play it so anyway I hope this uh, helped and I hope you enjoyed watching uh, we'll be doing some more campaign stuff for Heroes of Normandy take care this is Legendary Tactics